Hello, my sewing friends. This is the very last Friday Sews of 2022. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room, and I'm so glad to be back. I was gone for the Christmas holiday and rolled in after a very long two days of driving with my husband and my youngest daughter. And although I love them so much, I was so ready to get out of that car and get away from them. So my husband calls this my fortress of solitude. And so I came in here and I kind of just breathed in and breathed out. It was like, oh, I'm home. Uh, when I came in, my table was pretty much cleared off, which was great because I don't like to leave myself a mess to come home to. And so that was great. I did pick up and organize some things and that got the wheels turning, you know, for 2023, what are my priorities going to be? What am I going to sew? What do I want to accomplish? Now I am not a goal oriented person. I'm very fly by the seat of my pants, very much so. Um, so I'm not going to set specific goals as such beyond wanting to take month by month little chunks out of the stuff that I have to do. This is stuff like things that are cut out already that I need to put together, things that are not cut out yet, but the pattern has been fitted and I just need to cut it out and put it together. Other things like baby stuff, you know, that I've started and um, or cut out and I just need to finish. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't want that stuff hanging over my head. And I think if I pace myself and do it a little bit at a time, then I'll be successful. And don't we all want to be that? Yes, I do. Oddly, the one thing that I made for Christmas that I was tired of making and I thought, no, no, I'm done with that. Everybody wants one. Of course they do. And I'm talking about bowl cozies. I am not a quilter. Maybe I'll get to be a quilter after I make a thousand more of these things. Not a thousand really, but I don't know. I just, they weren't very fun to make. And so, okay, not everything needs to be fun. But my husband wants uh, a couple. My middle daughter wants a couple more. My, uh, or my number four daughter wants a couple more. Number three daughter wants some. Number one daughter wants some more. You know what? They're just the greatest thing. They really are. So that's in my future. Uh, and my middle daughter asked me while I was with the whole family at Christmas, mom, why didn't you make us anything? And what she was talking about is the fact that uh, for many Christmases in a row, I have made or bought something for all of them, each of them that's the same, but different in a little way. Like one year I made um, headbands and wristbands to wash your face. And I made them in different colors. One year I made, well last year I made them all, um, like I made a couple of them dresses. I made a circle skirt, I made yoga pants and a yoga sports bra. Um, yeah, all that kind of thing. I make them, like I made them something to wear, but they were all different. So. She asked me, why didn't you do that this year? I had to think about it for a minute. And I said, well, honey, <laughs> I had one week in December when I was not traveling or away from home. And that really put a crimp into the whole, you know, being able to have time to make things. So when I realized that, I thought, wow, I really am sorry that I didn't get to do that. So I came home with a whole list of things that they want me to sew for them. So that'll probably be some of the things that I'm doing in um, the new year. One thing I want to get done, and it, I really would like to move it to the top of the list because for two Christmases now, last Christmas and this past Christmas, I have a Christmas dress that I want to make and wear, and I haven't been able to get it done. So it is Vogue 1901. I'm going to make this view. And I'm going to make it out of some red cupro that I ordered from Amazon specifically for this dress. It's a line dress, although Vogue does say it's easy. 
you know how Vogue is though. Sometimes, you know, that what they think is easy and what I think is easy are often two different things. So I don't know. I I think I wanna I wanna do this. I have the fabric, it's not cut out yet, but the pattern I have done muslins and fit it. So it's all ready to go. All I have to do is make it. So yeah, I just I really want to get that done. Even if I can't wear it until next Christmas. But I want to have that. I want to have that Christmas dress done. Before I get to life, let me get on to the question for this week. And that is, are you making a flashy, fancy uh, New Year's Eve outfit for, to, I guess it's tomorrow night, isn't it? Uh, I'm not because we go to bed early and we just watch TV. Sometimes we can stay awake until the ball drops, but really it's just another day. New Year's Day for us is football <laughs> pretty much across the board. So, so I'm not, but maybe you are. Maybe you have plans for a fancy schmancy party or maybe you're going downtown to a big thing, a big event. So um, yeah, are you making something? Let me show you a few things things that I got, and I guess I'll include this in life, but it's kind of a segue from sewing into life in that I had lunch this afternoon with my wonderful, wonderful sewing sisters, Carmen Salome and Michelle from Michelle Sews Again. And, you know, we all exchanged the Christmas gifts and all did the things and everything. Michelle has been experimenting with her Cricut so she gave me several things for um, my grandson, my new baby grandson, but she put them in this bag. And I think I'm gonna cut this bag apart and put this on my wall. It just says, good things come to those who sew. Isn't that great? I love that. She did a bunch of iron-on things for the baby. And she also gave me this, which is also going to go on my wall. And it's a little hard to see, but that's okay with me because in this fabric is space. It's space, it says, today in Jen's sewing room. And it's got that beautiful sewing machine with the, with the flower. I love this so much. And so I don't know how I'm gonna do it, if I'm gonna frame it. I don't know if I'll get that fancy. I may just, you know, turn the ends under and thumbtack it on the wall, like I've done very many things over there. But how gracious was she to do that for us? Oh, she also gave me this little, um, it's like a little jar, it's a plastic jar, but it's, it says buttons. It's just so cute. She's been really having fun, and, and a lot of the conversation was, well, do Carmen and I need to buy a Cricut? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so that was, Wonderful. We met together at about 1230 and we finally got out of the restaurant at about four o'clock. So we talked about everything. Lots of sewing, lots of YouTube, but lots of other stuff in life because we're, you know, we're all interested. So anyway, wonderful sewing sisters. So this weekend for me is going to be all about home deck DIY projects. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to do. I ought uh, let me tell you this, it's kind of, it doesn't really have to do with sewing, it's more about my life, but I read a lot of books every year and I set a Goodreads goal and I met it this year, but it is a good substantial amount of books less than I have read every other year. Now this number means nothing. I don't get a prize, I don't get recognition, I don't get bragging rights, I don't, I get nothing except the feeling of accomplishment that I have met my goal. It's the one goal I really aim for. Well, you know, I am like 24 books off my goal. Well, that's not true. I'm, I set my goal. I've gone beyond that, but I am 24 books be short of where I would like to be and where I have been a lot more than in the previous years. I just don't focus on my reading anymore. I still read a lot of books, but I don't read as many. So I wondered how many novellas can I get through in the next day and a half? So I don't know. Uh, you know, these are quick little audiobooks. They're like two hours long, but they count as books. So I'm gonna see if I can get through 24 of those. I've already gotten through one, so I'm doing good there. 
and start it on another. When you listen at 1.5 or 1.75 speed, that helps a lot. I will say that I just finished the final book in a 15 book series. It's a sci-fi series. And I have completely, thoroughly, cannot rave enough, enjoyed this series so much. Uh, it's narrated by a guy who's brilliant. And I didn't like the ending. I love the book, I love the series, but I was disappointed with the way that the author wrapped it up. That doesn't happen very often, but I kind of have a book hangover because of that, you know? So, I don't know, I've switched over and I'm reading a lot of holiday romance because why not? They're fast or quick. They're like eating candy and I've been doing so much of that, so why not? So that's Friday Sews, the final one for this year. Let me leave you with this. I'm wearing Stitch and Stay by McCall's 7757. It is from 1995. It looks like this. This is a microfiber sheet. I love this dress. This can get hot, but it's been very temperate here. It's 80 degrees, 82 degrees. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to be home because it was cold. Uh, as always, if you'd like to see a playlist of all my Friday sews, check right over here. And I will leave you with my standard favorite verse. Do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Have a great weekend.